Okay. These are some of the kitchen team. Which Come on, boy. They love coming here and working with Mike. Everything's volunteer except for Mike, who is a part-time employee who works way more hours than shown. Very frugal amount of money. And the same with Dawn. So when we say, you know, we've got a hundred volunteers, people look at you as if you're telling a, a big fat lie. But by the time we, you know, today, one, two, three, four, you know, maybe five volunteers in the kitchen. Um, they're all volunteers doing the driving and delivery, but a couple of those ones are going to help in the office. Then the board members all do tasks that we can't afford to pay for. So we're all volunteers and um, obviously people don't come every day of the week. You know, it's five days a week and people have, you know, what do they say? Give a busy person something to do and they'll get it done. So all these people do loads Hi. Of Hi, Francis. Oh my goodness. Do you mind the, whole the, gang's, the whole gang's here today. How you doing? I'm doing fine. This is for you. Oh, that's for her. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. okay. Dawn. Oh, you're Dawn. Yes. Hi. This is Francis. Glad I know. to meet you. It's so yeah. good to see you. Very yeah. good to see you. I think my husband's coming. Aw. I warned him. <laughs> you warned him? Did he comb his hair? Uh, probably not. <laughs> or if he's like me, just put a hat on. He's listening to his music outside. Oh, oh that sounds nice. Yeah, hey, how we doing? There, here he comes. Wonderful. Now he'll know who I talk to, Don. Oh. I'm Don. I'm the one. I'm, oh, I'm the office right manager that you end up talking to. She's the hey, office manager. Quit. You're the office. Well, my I pleasure. am. I am. Good to, good to see you guys. So, Thanks. how long have you been on our route? Our route now. It's been a couple of years, right? Mm -hmm. Or longer? Uh, I think it was October 2020. 20. Yeah, I was going to say just just a, yeah. almost. Well, so you were already almost years. two years. Yeah, since the pandemic started, right? Okay, sweetie, we're coming. We can't stay too long. We kind of we kind of got a little a little yeah, bit. Sit down, oh, sweetie. Sit down, Don. Of course, I. Will. Hi, Eleanor. There you are. Oh, hi, Eleanor. Oh, sweetie. Oh, all of you. And he came Here's to your... look at all. He got you. Want to sit down, all of you? Today. Look at your wonderful notices. Oh, thank you. And so not sweet. only that, the history on the back. You yeah, we, we like we like to put little menu backs yeah. on you there. You want me to hold so. this up? Yay, I get my real thanks to Dawn for her caring and all of you. And then these visitors that come by. Our volunteers. They're, they're so nice to me. They stop by and say hello. So nice. There are so many seniors in San Pedro that are struggling to eat. And they might have money, but they might not have be able to go to the grocery store or they don't know how to order food online and their family lives out of town. But the one thing I could say is check on your neighbors. You know, ask them, their, your older neighbors, how are you? They want to eat for breakfast and try to sneak it in and check in with them to see if they're getting the food. And if they're not, maybe introduce them to Meals on Wheels. We really expanded our food donations because the food cost, yeah, as everyone knows, has gone up, gone up so so much that we've offset with food donations from other nonprofits, from stores. So we're just from, looking, yeah, urban farms, urban yeah. farms. So we're just looking at ways to get our prices low because we're not government funded. So <laughs> note how I said that about four times. <laughs> and we're, a, but you know, so we're really relying on donations to sustain this program. It's feeding the clients, making sure that they're eating. Um, our volunteers actually go above and beyond the call. Uh, you know, like Susan said, sometimes the volunteers, um, it's the only person that they see all day long. So our volunteers will take out their trash if, they, if the trash needs to go out. Uh, they'll take their mail to the mailbox. They'll bring their, their garbage cans back to the house. They'll sit there and and have a, a little conversation with them, pray with them if they want to. Um, just, you know, we're not just here to feed, we're not just here to feed the stomach, we're here to feed the soul and, and their mind. I am fine, Ula, so... Hello, my young lady, how you doing? Oh, how are you, Jack, my favorite. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I don't know what we would do you out without you either, and with you without you. Thank and you it's so beautiful. And once in a while I'll call uh, Dawn 
and she says, I will tell everybody, and she I does. will say, uh, tell Mike, uh, yes, Chef Mike. Yes, our Chef Mike, that's right. Yep. Yeah. I yes. had a restaurant in town, and I closed my restaurant. This was 20 years ago, and I answered an ad in the paper, and I came walking in, and um, I worked here for a week, and um, I, every, I, the clients were just numbers to me. And I didn't like that. I wanted to know who I was cooking for. So I asked the board if I could go and uh, meet with some of the clients. And the first gentleman that I sat with, I sat there with him for two hours on his couch. And um, even the caretaker said to me, he goes, good luck. He says, this guy is just mean, nasty, he's overly grouchy and all that. And I did, um, the questions I asked him, he just warmed up like, instantly and the caretaker was able to do the stuff that he needed to do around the house and I talked to the, the, the gentleman for almost two hours and just asked him what kind of food is he like what you know if I'm gonna cook for you I want you to see I want you to know who I am and I want to know what you like and um, yeah so two hours and finally we got all that done and the caretaker thanked me gave me a hug and said please come back every day that you want and um, I came in the next morning, and the gentleman had died that night. He died when? He died that night. That's a And I got a phone call from the. I'm sorry. No, I. Just I got a phone call from the um, from the caretaker telling me that um, it was the happiest he had seen the guy in uh -huh. in a while, and all that, and that that's something that made me um, want to do this. I mean, I'm a giver anyway, but I, I'm, I'm here, I'm here to help the people that can't help themselves. My wife says to say hi. Always, always say hello to her for me, and then come by one day when that virus is over. Yeah, and I'll bring her with me. <laughs> He's the one. He goes camping. I know. I yeah. know. Jack, oh, you Jack, know. Yeah. yeah, Jack. Jack and I are friends.